Good morning from beautiful Zermatt. We got in around 9.30 last night and we are waking up to some beautiful mountain views. And today we are going to go up and see the Matterhorn from another mountaintop. So Zermatt is a car-free town and so they don't allow cars, but they do have tons of these electric little taxis type things that take people to their hotels or to their vacation homes. So it's kind of nice that you only have to worry about these little taxis and bikers. So we're walking and we can hear the beautiful river. And then you look at this gorgeous view of the Matterhorn. Good morning, little stinkers. Good morning. Guess what? What, Olivia? We're going to Rottenhorn from Zermatt. That's right. Rottenhorn, not Rottenhorn. <laughs> Are you girls looking forward to it? Yeah. So we're taking a funicular train from Zermatt to, um, to Sunega, a small gondola from Sunega to Blauherd, and then a big cable car from Blauherd to Rathorn. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is wow. amazing. Look, Look at, at this wow. view of the Matterhorn. So now we are going from Sunega to Blauhorn, or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's so a little swingy. Mom doesn't like swingy. <laughs> it's okay. Emma's gonna touch some snow. Is it cold, bud? Touch it, let's see. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? It's cold. We made it to the top of Rothorn and it was only 25 minutes from when we got on the funicular until we made it all the way to the top, taking three forms of transportation. So extremely efficient. I'm hiking the mountain watch. <laughs> You're hiking the mountain? And Yeti's getting in on the action too. Greggy, what'd you think of that ride up? That was awesome. <laughs> So we are at the Rothorn, which is 3,103 meters up, and it is 10,000 or 10,180 feet. This is our 36 sign looking at the beautiful Matterhorn. Girls, what do you think about this site up here? It's cold. <laughs> the sun is shining, but it's windy up here, so it's chilly. Yeah, I found an ice pan to right behind you. Cool. <laughs> so we are at our 36th sign. Very cool. So this is something interesting. The Matterhorn Glacier Paradise is on top of the little Matterhorn or the Klein Matterhorn, not on top of the big one. The big one is 4,478 meters, and the little one is 3,883 meters. So now we are at Blauherd, which is 2,571 meters high, or 8,435 feet. We're gonna go take a little walk, walk around and then go down the gondola to Sunega and take a hike down to Zermatt. We were all the way up there. That's right, we were all the way up there.
one more little gondola ride back to Sunega, and then we're gonna hike 3.3 miles down, I think, to Zermatt. We just got off in Sunega, and we're about to start our hike. Still absolutely gorgeous views of the Matterhorn, and somehow we lucked out on a beautiful and almost clear skies day. So we walked about 0.2 miles on the trail, and the girls are going to play by this playground right by the Sunega Rail Station. And there's a cute little lake here too. Yes, so this is Greg and my view from where we're sitting and relaxing. I mean, is this not the most incredible view? And look at the little reflection in the tiny little lake. It is absolutely gorgeous. How are you doing over here, Greggy? Good, I just, uh, we're always ill-prepared for stuff, so, um, well, not ill-prepared, but just like, she does a great job of planning trips, but then we forget some items, like my sunglasses, <laughs> or a hat, um, or champagne and orange juice. <laughs> for mimosas, that yeah, would be nice right so, now. But no, oh, well. it's awesome. <laughs> All right, Mr. Greg, you got some Matterhorn facts for us? Yeah, these didn't come from Wikipedia, just various sources, so. <laughs> uh, the peak is 4,000, 478 meters. Yes. And it is the fifth highest um, mountain in the Alps. Um, it's beautiful. I'm very, and uh, the reason that it's so popular is because of the, the shape of it. So it's got almost a perfect pyramid shape and there's four sides to it on the face and each one faces one of the four cardinal directions. So while it's not the highest peak uh, in the Alps, it is one of the most famous. And this is the first time I've ever seen it. And it is just, it's um, striking. I mean, it's just spectacular. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a beautiful sight. gliders that is on my bucket list to do in Switzerland. So I'm putting it on here now so I do it at some point in Switzerland. We saw them up there. It was two little kids going with the um, the uh, instructor. Yes and they so were the those are the two little kids up there with their with the adults. I think, yeah I think one is you know with an instructor each one. So. What a view to be paragliding with. Yeah for real. Incredible. So this is the fun playground park. Emma did you have a lot of time fun? Yes. Good. They've had a water play area. There was an actual playground and a fun little lake to play with. So we are eating lunch at Adler Hitta, which is on the mountain between Sunega and Zermatt. Maybe I get the spare ribs. And check out this amazing view. You both sound good. I said I wasn't going to drink this weekend. Cheers. Cheers. Greggy just said he said he wasn't going to drink this weekend, but I forced him into Cheers. it because we're on the mountain. And why not? Cheers, Liv. Livy, cheers. We love you. Happy Saturday. I got queso schnitte, uh, un spiegelei, which is bread soaked in wine with cheese, gratinated, and fried egg. And Greg, what did you get? Uh, I got spare ribs with fried potatoes and coleslaw. And how does it look? It looks really good. And it smells insane. So Emma has a random thought for you today. What's that random thought, Emma? My whole life, I thought grilled cheese was grilled cheese. <laughs> you are super silly. Are you having a good day? Are you enjoying the beautiful view? Good. And this is a cute little place that we stopped at. And now we are headed back down towards Zermatt. Okay. So the girls and Greg are rocking this hike. 
I don't suggest it if you're scared of heights because I am having about 55 mini breakdowns, but the girls and Greg have been such excellent motivators. Not on this rock part that we just passed, because I always am afraid if we go past the giant rock part, um, I'm afraid that's going to fall. Well, you did wonderful. Emma's doing great. She's holding Yeti, and we're, Greg is just checking out the view. It's absolutely beautiful, but whew, there are some crazy cliffs. <laughs> The girls are taking a well-deserved iPad break because the hike turned into much longer than we thought it was going to be. Girls, how was it? I'm good. You still had fun? Yeah. Was it hard? No. No, not at all. Well, it was hard for me. <laughs> it was just a lot of downhill, a lot of rocks to jump over and all that kind of stuff. But we had a great family time and the girls now were I so need, nice now about- I need to go stop some crime in Brookhaven because I'm a police officer. They're playing uh, iPad games. Really good.